Good afternoon. Welcome to my latest video. I've just spent all morning finishing putting the pipes through the wall, which you can see in the previous video, and now I'm pushing on with work. I'm gonna switch over to some rendering, which I'm really excited about. So let's get some render and let me show you what I'm gonna be up to. It's a little strange, but I'm excited to show you my plans. Won't you come with me into the dark, dingy, horrible corner? Let's just ignore my toilet. Let there be light. So let me try to explain what's happening in here. Actually, let's start with these shelves. I built this little wall a very, very long time ago, and it's gonna be covered in render, as is the entire interior of the shower, sort of going up to where the clay is, around the window, and then over to this wall here. I haven't yet decided how far I want this wall to go up, what I want on the top of those, if anything, and what I want to do with this section here. I'd like to do some kind of a bottle wall of some sort. I just need to figure out exactly what to do. The shower will extend up here, and then, yeah, I can't continue until I make some decisions. Then over here, to my left, will be a wall for the bathroom. I might also do a bottle wall here to bring in some light. And yeah, some other decisions need to be made here as well. But one thing I can do is take off these covers, which have been there for approximately 1.5 years. I put these on to protect the wood from the clay, but I think it'll be easier to render with this off. And I think I've linseed oiled them, so I'll be able to wipe them down fairly easily. So I've done some tidying. I've made a bit of space to work. And now let's get unwrapping. So these little sticky yeti bits here, I meant to hold uh, the countertop that the sink's gonna go onto, and then the two underneath are for future shelves. Nice to see you again, guys. It's been a long time. Before I push on too much more with the work, I'm gonna nip out to the post office because I have to send this phone card to my parents. They're coming back end of April. I'm very excited. They're gonna stay one month this time. And what we've done the past couple times that they visited is I've sent a internet phone card out to them. And then on the 25th of April when they arrive, I'll make a little visit to the ATM top them up for 30 days and they'll be good to go. I'm back from my post office errand and I got my residency card. It's already come in the mail. So I'm officially a Portuguese resident and I can travel in and out of the country without any dramas. So that's amazing. I bought a couple of cookies to celebrate. I had an icy coffee, read my gray water book, and now I'm ready to get started on the lime. So let's just dive right into it. My plan is to hopefully do this little short wall and a little bit inside the shower as well. I don't need to do everything today. Uh, this is just base layers building up and building up and building up, making it thicker and more water resistant. So if it doesn't look amazing, it's okay. And that's good because I'm not really sure how I'll go rendering this kind of uh, curvy sort of wall, but I'm excited to find out. So let's give it a try.
if you thought this trowel was cool, check out this trowel. It's a Japanese trowel and it's it's bendy and it's got the pointy bit. And I actually think this is gonna be perfect for this job. So I'm busting this out for its inaugural troweling session and I'm very excited. Ooh, it's good. This is amazing. I need more Japanese trials in my life, for sure. Almost done. Maybe have another half an hour or so of work, which is good because it's around seven o'clock. I'm definitely, though I'm enjoying this, definitely ready to be done. I'm super happy with how things are going. I love working with Lime Putty. I love this new trowel and I'm excited to just keep going and then push on with more rendering tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for some more shower fun. Good morning everybody from another beautiful day here in central Portugal. Before I show you all the work that I did last night, let's go take a peek at the plant babies and then after that I'm gonna banish myself back inside away from this glorious weather and dive back into more rendering in the shower. Hello babies. So we've got some tomatoes finally popping out. Some there, some there, that little guy there. The cucumbers are looking super happy. The sunflowers are very happy, but weirdly, though I thought I planted sunflowers in this pot, it's not. It's definitely not a sunflower popping up there, so I don't know. That's going to be my plant of mystery. I'm very curious to see what happens there. And then over here we've got kale, lettuce, beets, another cucumber, and some signs of Thai basil, which is very exciting, and plenty of dill. So... Oh, and purple basil, and regular basil is coming as well. So, so much excitement. I love checking on these every day, but it's time to get to work. Bye, see you later. But though I'd love to be working outside, I've got, I think, one more day of the shower before I have to let it all cure for about a month. So let's just get it done today, and then once it's finished, I can come outside and start doing 
outdoor project. So let me show you what I did last night. But first, this tower of toilet paper is my Mikey defense strategy. He really likes to jump up here and then jump up upon the mezzanine. And I don't want his little claws scratching the lime. So each night before bed, there will be a toilet paper tower. The toilet paper defense strategy has been dismantled. And this is what I did yesterday. I was working really hard yesterday on this. I don't think I finished until about 8 p.m. Basically what I did was put a fairly thin layer of lime over the existing wall made of clay, sand, and straw. And yeah, just trying to make as smooth a finish as possible uh, while also scoring it because there's going to be another possibly one or two layers that go on top of this. So a couple things to point out. I didn't go all the way into the corner because I like to use burlap anytime I have corner joins, especially if there's a transition between two materials. But the weirdest and most wonderful part of today's build will be this wall here. I have a lot of faith in natural materials. I generally trust them. It's all very intuitive and they can do most things. But in this case, this is one part of the house build that I'm a little bit no, I don't want to say nervous, but I'm um, curious about because I'm basically building a shower wall with a, a wooden sort of stud style wall behind it that is filled in with essentially clay. Not ideal things that you want to be using when you're in sort of a wet area. My idea is to cover it all up with several layers of lime and then eventually do something hopefully tadlocked to waterproof the lime at the very end. But waterproofing won't happen for a long time, so I'm gonna have water kind of splashing all around the shower onto the lime for probably quite some time. Not a big deal when the wall behind it is stone, but when you have clay, like over here as well, and wood behind uh, a wall that's getting water on it, you really don't want those things getting wet. I'm reasonably confident that this is going to work out okay. I'm going to do enough layers of lime that hopefully it protects the stuff beneath. I think any conventional builders out there might look at this with horror. Oftentimes with showers, you're going to be using cement backer board and also maybe a waterproofing membrane of some kind. And then beneath all that, you have the stud wall and all the woodwork. So. It's definitely a little strange, and I have been pretty nervous about this, but I do have quite a nice community of people that I communicate with in the world of natural building, and I've floated this idea to them, and they seem to think that everything will be okay, it's not all going to fall down, and you know what? If it does all fall down, it's not going to be anytime soon, and I can fix it and change it later on. So I really want to try this. I want to see how it goes. I'm super excited that it get lime on this dark, dingy brown color and it'll brighten up the whole corner and just make me feel a lot happier every time I come in here to use the shower. But enough chat. I've got loads of stuff to do today. Let's get started by rendering this wall right behind me and then go from there. Welcome to the darkness. I have a feeling this is going to be quite tricky to film, but I will do my best. So I have my lime down here in the dark corner. Got my tools, including this glorious, glorious Japanese trowel. I know I have a lot of favorite tools, but this is definitely up there now. So I've been doing a bit of prep off camera. I've nailed a whole bunch of metal things in to tr try to hold the lime in place. Put some down the side. I've put some burlap against the wood. I just feel like it holds it better. And then in this corner here, the lime will eventually be rounded around to meet the wood. So I've put burlap there. I'm not going to do this yet. Right now I'm more focused on the middle part and also focus on building the lime up in this corner part as well. So I'm going to start here and then go from there. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother trying to film this part. I'm going to check in again once I can actually uh, move, first of all, and get some better filming done because it's quite a tight squeeze in here. As you can see, I'm in amongst the stuff. So I'll check it again fairly soon. I'm back and I've been busy rendering the section behind me 
just filling that space in so that it's done. The whole thing is connected, the wood's covered. And now I'm gonna move on to rendering this wall, which I think is gonna be one of the most rewarding jobs that I've done in a while. This was also really rewarding, but this is gonna really change the way this corner looks because that wall is so dark and horrible, kind of. So I'm just gonna get right to it and get some render on this wall. But before I do, I've actually gotta keep this wall fairly wet keep spraying it several times a day so that it doesn't cure too quickly and then want to crack. So I'll give this guy a spray and then I'll give this guy a spray so it's nice and wet to receive the lime and then I'll get started. I don't know if you can hear that. It's the sound of the neighbor rotivating the land with this massive machine. And so while I was going to leave you with the sweet, sweet sounds of rendering lime onto a wall, unfortunately the motor kind of kills the vibe, but I do have to get this done. So this round of rendering is gonna be set to some music, but when I get to this, we'll switch back over to the beautiful sounds of rendering a wall. and it's hot back here. So I've got a bit more work to do to build this level of lime out to the level of the wood and then hopefully when I put these guys on yeah it'll kind of push into the lime and it'll mean that I don't have to worry about getting the lime behind this afterwards which would be quite, quite tricky so I can't speak. Uh, I'm gonna take a break and check back in again when I'm ready fasten these wooden things to the wall. So the guy with the weird tractor thing, I don't know if it's a rotivator or what it is, he's even closer now and so the noise is even louder. Let me show you this weirdness that's happening on this shower wall and then I'm going to actually call it on work. I'm going to walk into town and meet some friends for a beer. So I'm looking forward to that later. I'll take you guys along with me for the walk uh, but let me show you what I've been working on. You know, I probably should wait for that machine to stop before I film this, but I've got things to do, so I'm just gonna compete against it. 
Um, the reason I put these pieces, no, it's too crazy. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Oh, much better. The man and his noisy machine are gone. Let me show you what he's done over to this land. It's definitely the Portuguese way of keeping the land under control. They kind of just plowed into oblivion. So he had this kind of pushy, motory thing that I guess shreds up the soil and keeps the grass at bay, but I don't know if it keeps the soil happy. So let me try that again. Let me show you what I'm up to in the shower corner. Okay, round two. So right now I'm basically building out the lime to a level that's sort of even with those pieces of wood on the side, pushing these wooden pieces in and screwing them on either end. What this does is it allows me to build the lime out a little further. Just give me, gives me some more support because I want this lime to come down quite thick and then kind of overlap this bit at the bottom so the water sheds away at the bottom. I feel like it'll give me more protection for the clay wall and it just seems to make sense. And another reason for putting these wooden pieces across is it'll make it easier for me to build a flat-ish wall uh, on top of these rather than kind of just going free form might be a bit curvier and that'll mean that it'll make it easier for the next stage of render to go on top. So those are my ideas. Those are my plans. Let me get up. It's kind of painful squatting down. So that's what I've been up to here in this dark shower corner and I'm just gonna keep pushing ahead. I'm gonna try to get the slats close to the top and then I'm gonna finish up for the day and go for my walk. So I've got a couple of hours left before that and I think I can get this done and maybe have some time to sit in the hammock before I head off on my walk. So I'm going to check in again, hopefully fairly soon. So I'm just sitting here in the shower corner. I've mostly finished this weird stick wall thing that I'm doing and I'll get into everything tomorrow because right now I have about 10 minutes to get changed, give myself a bit of a wash up and head out for my walk so that I can meet my friends at 7.30 at the pub. So it'll be a nice sundowner sort of stroll and then I'll have sundowners once I get there. So I'll see you guys on the road. Okay, let's go for a walk. Destination, beer and friends. Food. 
It's beautiful out there, but it's windy, so I'm hiding in the doorway. I had such a great day yesterday. I had a great day of work, and it was awesome to finish it off with a walk and a beer with friends. But there's more to do. However, because this video is getting super long, I'm going to do one more thing, and I'm going to show you a change of plans that I've had overnight. So let's get back into the shower and wrap this video up. So the work that I want to get done before this video is finished is putting some burlap into the corner and liming it so it spans across the join. I'll get to the rest of this in the next video along with hopefully, definitely putting these pipes in place and hopefully also attaching the shower bar thing. And my change of plans is to do with this weirdness. I've decided that if I use these and keep them in place, I'm going to have to bring the lime out quite a lot past the wood in order to be sure that this wood doesn't get damaged by the water. And I think that's just going to bring it out too far. My decision is going to be to remove all of these things and just lime it as normal, building it up slowly, layer by layer. I'm hoping these things come off fairly easily. I'm feeling comfortable with this decision and I think it's the right thing to do. So I'm going to start today by removing all the work that I did last night. Okay, I'm happy with this. I feel better about it. I'm not crazy about all the time and resources I've wasted, but I'm sure I'll find another purpose for this, these bits of wood. And so now, let's move on to this corner. I've got a lot of work ahead of me, so I'm gonna put the camera down, say goodbye from this video. There's a lot still to do in the shower. I've probably got a couple more videos still to go fairly soon, but I need to order tiles. I need to order a drain because I'm not happy with the one I have. I wanna order the shower bar thing or go to a shop and buy one. And yeah, there's a few things to think about and some decisions to still make as well. So I'm probably gonna switch focus now to the tool shed for a little while. So I hope you've enjoyed this rendering video. It's a lot of rendering, a lot of weird stuff happened and then unhappened, but I hope you liked it. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment. I love hearing from people and I'll see you in the next video.